Yo, what's going on, y'all? So I'm a little mad right now. So I I made an intro already, and this is my second intro. So I already made one, and then I tried to upload it to my you know my my laptop, but then it said that oh, um, like it's already it's on my memory card and everything. It's just like my laptop is saying that I it's it, it can't be synced. Whatever you want to call it, it's just. It freaking says it's missing file, and it's and see in all this right here, like man, I freaking Apple sucks, man. I, I can't stand Apple, man. The Apple is just horrible, especially MacBooks. I like the phones, but MacBooks, man, these things suck. Sorry, for, sorry for venting, you guys. Sorry, but man, this thing just sucks, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm, tr like now we're saying that some other stuff is uh wrong like bro this thing I'm but I'm you know what F it F it I'm going to I'm going <laughs> I'm going to Android yeah you guys heard it. I'm going to Android man I'm getting to Android I'm about to be one of them green textures right when I text you it's gonna be green not blue hey, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is annoying though man like now I gotta like I already had the video done and everything all I had to do is the intro and now I gotta do this man this is stupid man I hate this stuff, man. Man, I wish I wish I had the number two to Apple and complain about their product. And I hope that they're giving me a free one. Most likely they're not, though, because I'm pretty sure this happens to everybody. Man, whatever, yo, man. Anyways, so stay tuned. At the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about the giveaway, man, at 5,000. So, yeah, stay tuned. And also, oh, wait. Also, in this video... This kid, he has a, uh, he's kind of a curly top. It seems like I always talk about, like, I always, I always cut people with curly tops. But he did have some, some curls, and I, I trimmed it down with some scissors. Um, so I ended up giving, like, a curly top fade. Um, I did, like, a little low, mid-drop fade on him, and uh, I put some water in it and made it curly, you know. Made the shape very nice and everything. So stay tuned for this, y'all. It's going to be a good one, y'all. guys look at me with these masters i got the cordless master man these are beautiful but i'm taking down the hair with a two on the sides i usually pick out the hair but i feel like it's just gonna be you know kind of like useless if i just pick out the hair all around and then i trim it with scissors because i'm gonna cut that the sides down anyways so what i'm doing is i'm just taking off the bulk on the sides with a two and then after this i'm just gonna pick out the hair so that way i can give it that shape and that round look that i want or the little flat top look that i want um so yeah i'm doing a two just taking off that bulk and yeah <music> my scissors um, in my hand the same by to you know stin bye bye but I have my uh, my scissors in my hands and I'm just taking off I, I, don't, I don't know how much I'm taking off at the top so I'm, I'm just basically trying to make it all even and I'm just gonna cut it down maybe an inch maybe two maybe an inch and a half I'm not sure I'm just basically I'm just evening it out because and I'm also shaping it bye Ramon see you later hey, interrupting me while I'm doing my video yeah sweet uh, anyways <laughs> So I'm just cutting it down with some scissors, shaping it up. As you see, it's kind of, you know, looking roundish. Um, but I do recommend you guys have long shears like the ones I have right now. I'm not, I don't have any. <laughs> I'm just using drills. So, uh, you know, anybody in the shop, uh, I use their stuff, you know, because what's theirs is mine, right? <laughs> but I do recommend having these shears because uh, they uh, cut down the hair 
like perfect and they're kind of uh, i think his are kind of yeah his are kind of has like a little arch at the, the ends of it so it gives it that little round look will make it so much much easier making my bald line with the the babyless or babyless liners whatever you want to call it i can say babyless but i am making a um, a ball line uh make sure that it is even i'm going to keep the back lower i always do it anyways but i want to keep it you know i want to keep that shape nice you know so i'm just gonna uh make kind of dip it at the end or at the the bottom you know at the, the below the bottom of the uh, occipital bone i'm gonna so yeah just make sure that it is straight and make sure that the line is clean. You don't really gotta make a hard line up in there because it's gonna be hard to take out. I'm just, so what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm flicking out like I'm using a clipper. You know, sometimes you see people make their ball line with, uh, you know, like, like, like they're making that hard line. Uh, I sometimes do it, but on this case, I don't do it. Um, on this case, because I don't wanna make a hard line, it's gonna be so much harder for me to take out. So I'm just flicking out like I am doing you know, using clippers. First step, I have my cordless Andis Masters, and these, man, I'm telling y'all, it is worth it. I pay like 250 for these, and they're worth it. Yeah. So I'm making my my first guideline half an inch. You know, I'm just uh, make sure that it's straight. I'm flicking out. I'm not really trying to make that hard line. Um, and also, if you guys, I don't know if you guys ever used Andis Masters before. I know that the quarter ones are, you know, some people don't like it because they're pretty heavy. These are not heavy. They feel just the same as the cordless seniors. So if you guys want to make a good investment in some clippers, I recommend these ones, guys. But yeah, make sure that the um, the first guideline is straight. Make sure that the open is the open is straight. And yeah, just make sure you follow. Also follow that uh, ball line. You know, make sure that it is all straight. So the next step, I have my closed lever for my Andis Masters, and I'm just gonna be flicking out that bottom line. Um, I usually tell you guys to do the close halfway open, close halfway open. Um, in this in this case, I am basically gonna be struggling taking out this ball line here, as you can see, um, because sometimes, I mean, in some certain types of hair, that these masters they don't take out the ball line completely, or maybe it's just me and how I set my ball lines, or maybe it's just me as a barber or whatever you know because i suck <laughs> but um they don't really take out the ball line like that um i probably have to zero gap them some more but um yeah whatever but so to take out the ball line you know to do that close halfway open close halfway open uh, just you know get in the repetition of doing that you know just make sure that um no lines or anything just do what you got to do to to make that you know that section or that right there blurry because you want to have it as blurry as possible no hard lines no dark spots no nothing so again close halfway open close halfway open So right here, I have my, my liner. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm taking out that bottom line. So you always, if you can't take out that bottom line with your clipper, just go back with the liners and kind of flick out to take out that bottom line because it, it is gonna take it out. You know, you just gotta, like what my old instructor used to say, you gotta eat. Eat is an acronym for edge, angle, and touch. So you just gotta you know, have a soft touch with it, you know? Next 
next step, I have my one guard, my purple magnetic guard. So I'm just gonna be making another guideline, half an inch, you know. Um, I'm just flicking out though, I'm flicking up. I don't wanna really cut into, you know, the uh, the curls on top, so I'm flicking out at like an angle. So that way it, you know, um, it gives it more of that, um, it, it doesn't make a hard line. It just makes like kind of like a soft, soft line. If you know what I'm saying, um, let me try to explain it better. When you flick out, and you drag up especially into an afro like this it'll basically when you're dragging up you're you're kind of ba it's basically like shaping up an afro you know you're just basically going up so that way it will not make a line it's it's, it's basically like, like i said shaping up an afro but you're using a guard with it if you know what i'm saying So the blend, ow, man, dang it. <laughs> I hit my finger. Don't mind, don't mind what I just did there. You know, I just hit my finger really hard on my desk, but you know, it's all good. Oh yeah, the, the video wants to be blurry. Yeah, cool, sweet. No, I don't want to cut this guy's hair. <laughs> Anyways, I, I have my zero guard and I'm just gonna be, I have it all the way closed. And what I'm doing, you see right here, boom, 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 flicking out. I'm just flicking, flicking, flicking flicking that bottom line i'm just flick 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 I, it works so much better with masters and fast feeds you can't really do it with the um the cordless seniors or the seniors type of way because i don't know there's something different with that guard you know um but it works perfect 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 with the the fast feeds and the masters so when you have that one line that open you know one guard guideline you have the zero guard just blend it out have it all the clothes and just flick 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 that's all you got to do y'all flick 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 and also you do open you open it up you know to lighten it up and then you do it close i mean halfway and then you know just play with the levers lineup part um as you can see my client his hairline isn't really you know all there you know it's just kind of light on this hairline so i'm just i'm going to his natural hairline um i've made sure that i brush the hair down and i'm just getting all the hairs that you know are falling over um again start from the middle i always say this to everybody start from the middle is much easier to start from the middle of the forehead you know and then work your way from from left to right left to right um because um, whenever I line up, I start from the middle and I work my way left to right, right to left. Because when you start it in the middle, you give it that base and you already give it to where you know that's where your line is going to be at. And then when you meet it from each from left to right to right to left, it's going to meet up and you know one side is not going to be higher than the other. But that's just me. You guys might have a different type of way of uh, lining up. But I like doing it that way. I feel like it's easier that way because if you start from one side and like save this, if you start from the left side, you, you start your line there and you go to the right side, you're like, oh dang, this side's higher. So this so on this part, you really do not have to worry about it one side being higher, you know? spraying my client with some enhancements on his forehead um, it's gonna look shiny because he don't really have a hair, lot of hair right there so uh, I'm gonna be spraying uh, I would say probably like medium ish because he really doesn't have a hairline um, or a dark hairline I wouldn't say he doesn't have one but it's gonna be shinier because it's basically not getting it's not connecting to hair so it's basically connecting to skin so that's why it looks shiny um, 
you really have to, you know, talk to your clients with this, you know, if they want it dark or not. I'm obviously putting it, you know, kind of darkish because, like I said again, his hairline is not that dark, so it's basically gonna be looking like shiny. But um, how to do it? You just basically how to do the airbrush. I tell everybody is that um, you want to follow the the hairline that you created. So make sure that the hairline that you created with your liners is straight, so that way when you do it with the the enhancements you just follow that you know it's a guide basically you just follow that and there you go man Hope you guys enjoyed this video, y'all. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys uh, are still sticking with me through this uh, this journey and everything. Uh, I'm up to like 4,000 now, so I need uh, one more K, you know, to hit the 5,000, do that giveaway. It's only gonna be one person, you know, cause I'm not rich and I can't really give away all this stuff. So at 5,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. Uh, I'm doing clippers for sure, but I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm giving out yet. Uh, probably by next video I will be talking about what I'm gonna be giving out but so all you have to do actually you know what on my Instagram I'm gonna be talking about that I'm gonna post something within the week or so about how you uh, qualify for the giveaway and everything but um, I always tell people in like the, the right in the comment section below that what got you in the barbering how barbering changed your life etc stuff like that like what got you in the barbering so um, but yeah and also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe this video. Put the post notifications on if you do intend to watch my videos in the future. I hope you guys do because I'm a funny guy. So, just, uh, and don't forget, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram will be at the end of the video. So, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Road to 5K coming soon. Hopefully, I can get it within this next month. If I keep posting, I always say I'm going to keep posting, but I never do. So, yeah.